Hello, Leo. You're up next. This is your monthly love tarot consultation. So to start with, as I always do, I want to ask you to put your energy into this reading by asking a question that is very specific to your situation because towards the end of the reading I am going to show you the card, the outcome card that I pulled for you, which is going to give you the answer to your question and also I'll give you some clarification about that answer. And I hope that this reading is, is going to be very helpful to you, but I've got, I've got to say this is a general reading. And so if you need more specific information about your situation, more than what you can get here, go to the description box below this video. And uh, there's a link there where you can get a personal reading. So without further ado, Leo, this is how you see your partner right now. Queen of Cups, in, but she's in reverse. Now, Queen of Cups is someone who's very emotionally stable, very, really has her emotional self well developed. She's the kind of person that can wear her heart on her sleeve because she knows that that is her strength. That is not making her vulnerable. It makes her strong. And right now you're seeing your partner in the reverse as someone who maybe is a drama queen, maybe is using her emotions in a negative way, perhaps manipulatively. Um, and this could be a man too. Remember, this is a general reading. so. Um, okay, the next card is how you see your partner. Ooh, Knight of Wands. Fiery energy. This is a young person, tends to be a young or youthful person. Very fast moving, a lot of energy. And but this came up in the reverse. Um, so I asked for clarification on this, and it was the Empress in reverse. Now, the Empress is normally a very sensual person. It could be very sexual, very earth, uh, you know, like an earth mother kind of person. And it came up in reverse, so I'm going to say that um, <laughs> someone who may be kind of turned off right now to how things are, maybe you're, um, so this is in the position of how your partner sees you, maybe you're kind of turned off right now. Um, not feeling as sensual as what your partner might like. Um, not as uh, fiery as you could be. Not as uh, anxious and youthful and, and full of fire and spark as you might have been at one time. And this makes sense when I look at the, the next card. This is your needs in the relationship. And uh, Four of Swords, this is saying, you know, you need to take a break. You need to maybe pull back and just say, you know, I need some time. Saying you need a rest. And what your partner needs in the relationship is more working together as a partnership, as a, you know, working together as a family kind of thing in cooperation with each other. Could uh, have finances involved in this too because these are, you know, it's three of pentacles. 
could could be talking about financially wanting more um, cooperation as well. The current state of the union, <laughs> king of swords in the reverse. King of swords, whenever I see this card, I, I think clarity because the, the blue is so clear. And, um, you know, the fact that it came up in reverse is telling me that, you know, there may be some communication issues. There may be some uh, things that are kind of cloudy in the relationship. Not uh, seeing eye to eye, not communicating well with each other. How you want the relationship to move forward. You want it to be more fun. You want the relationship to feel more like a celebration than it does because it really doesn't feel that way um, right now perhaps. <clears throat> How your partner wants things to move forward. Wheel of Fortune. Um, wow. This, you know, the feeling I get from this is your partner feels like the two of you were destined to be together. And then the, the card I pulled for clarity was the magician, but it's in the reverse. So it's almost like your partner thinks, um, wow, miracles? magic like the magic is not quite there so they want to bring the magic you know this came up in the the last reading too making love out of nothing at all it's like sometimes when one partner's saying you know we need to talk we need to you know we need to have some communication here and the other partner's like, why can't you just relax and just, you know, why do we have to talk about everything? That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. Like this, per this partner feels like, you know, this is destiny. Why can't you just kind of roll with it? And a factor that you need to consider, this is kind of like a, ba a balance card in terms of could be financial, like I mentioned that earlier, I was feeling that with the Three of Pentacles. Um, you want to feel more balanced, um, even just with yourself. Maybe you're having some financial issues. And I know men in particular, when you're in relationship, you really have a need to feel like you've got it together financially because even if that woman that you're with is you know doesn't really need you to take care of her financially men just like to do that that's what they like to do they want to know that they can provide for the woman in their life and isn't that wonderful how lucky we are ladies so now I'm getting to the part where um, the question that you asked, this is the outcome card, ta-da. It is the Four of Pentacles, and it's in reverse. And what I'm feeling with that one is the answer to your question is a yes, but because this came up in reverse, I want to say that you're not being as selfish as you need to. As you know, and everyone cringes, I know, when I say the word selfish, but selfishness actually is not a bad thing. I, I think more of the world should be selfish. In other words, take care of your own needs first, take care of yourself first. Um, because that is your primary responsibility. And, you know, if you, man, if you even have a cat and you look at your cat, take, take a lesson from your cat. 
Because before, you know, you could be calling your cat, you could want your cat for something, and that cat will sit there and scratch that itch or lick, him, lick himself or lick herself. You could be calling that cat, and that cat's going to do what they need to do for themselves first before they're going to come for you. And, that, and you need to be more like that. That's what that card, that's what I get out of that card is just, you know, you're not taking as good a care of yourself as you should be, not being as selfish as you should be. Make sure you take care of your needs first and make sure you communicate those needs. That is coming up that, you know, there's not enough communication here. Communicate those needs in a non-blaming non-criticizing way. Um, Page of Swords, I don't know, I'm getting, you know, could be some mental strife about a young person. If you or your partner has kids, there might be, I don't know, I'm even feeling like a, a teenage son who may be an issue this month. And temperance in reverse, meaning um, there's something out of balance here. And I have a feeling it might actually have to do with this, this young person here. Um, I don't know if there's a situation with drugs, drug abuse, or alcohol abuse. But there's something out of balance here. And that e makes even more sense because always when there's someone who's abusing drugs or alcohol, we think, you know, we think that we can rush in and save them. And, and this card is definitely saying, no, you have to conserve your energy. Look how he's, you know, gripping onto that pentacle. And then he's got his feet on the other two pentacles. You need to conserve your energy, keep your energy, pull your energy into yourself. Focus on your life. Don't become codependent. <laughs> um, if, if there's a young person who's having an issue with uh, drugs or alcohol, you need to do some tough love, you know, because you can't save them, okay? So... Wow, that was a little unexpected. So, Leo, I hope that this was helpful for you. Again, if you need additional, more specific help, um, I am doing a couple of special readings this month. So click on the link in the description. And, um, and I just want you to know, the minute you click on, on that link and, and the minute you click on the, the PayPal button, it's like you're giving me permission to see into your life. And I tend to get information, very personalized, specific information about your life. I don't just get it through the cards. I, I actually am an intuitive channel. And so I can give you much more specific information um, if you set up a private reading with me. Um, so just keep that in mind. And so in the meantime, Leo, peace be upon you. Salam alaikum. And um, I'll see you in the next reading.